Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install dev files, Debian package files, um, on your iPhone without using your computer and doing all that extra step SSHing and stuff. What you're going to need is Safari download plugin or Safari download manager installed um, from Cydia. You can get, you're going to need mobile terminal installed from Cydia and iFile installed from Cydia. I'm sure you can find ways to get those for free. If not, I will be showing you how to get those later on. What you can do now after installing the plugins, go to Safari and download the deb that you want. What really helps is that, you know, if you update it to a jailbroken app that you got and it's really buggy and it's making your iPhone crash to the springboard or something like that, you can uh, <clears throat> roll back to the older version installing a deb, but you have to find a place to download it from. So let's say I were to. I updated to a bad version of location spoofer and I want the older version which is 1.0 I would download that go to find a download link for it and download the deb off my using my iPhone <clears throat> like such and then I would roll back to the older version which doesn't make me crash or doesn't make me do all that so what you do is find a link for the deb you're gonna download on your iPhone for me I'm gonna use location spoofer I'm gonna download it this is Safari download the manager which has a nice GUI that lets you like see if it's finished or not. See, so after downloading the dev, go home and open iFile. I recommend going all the way to the back just so you know where you're at. So go all the way back, go to var mobile library downloads, and this is the name. This is the file you downloaded. Now, as you can see, it's a long name. I recommend um, shortening the name or abbreviating it because mobile terminal requires you to like rename everything or no name everything exactly as it is so you, the way you're going to install mobile terminal is you have to type in the exact name of the dev and that's kind of a long name so I'm going to name it if it's a location spoof I'm going to name it spoof after doing that you're going to edit it and uh, tap on it and then cut or copy you know go to done go back two times back back and you should edit and then bottom right corner and then paste it so after pasting it as you can see I got them already here that you can uh, go home and open up mobile terminal now after opening mobile terminal you're gonna type in su which means super user, press return, is going to ask you for a password. Now, if you haven't changed your password or if you've changed it, type in your mobile terminal password. Or if you've barely installed it and haven't changed it, go to the default password is Alpine. So type in Alpine. It won't show that you're typing it, but you really did. After you type in Alpine, press return. And it's going to show you that you're going to be in your iPod's var mobile directory, meaning, meaning that's where you put the uh, deb that you just downloaded. So <clears throat> what you're gonna do is type in D P K G mean meaning Debian package space dash I which means install space and then type in the package name. So I named it spoof dot dev so I'm gonna type in spoof don't forget the dot deb and now you can press return. There it goes it should be installed. Now you can go home and it's not you you won't see it so what you need to do is respring using SB settings or um, what is it um, I don't know what it's called it's an older version of like SB settings so after doing so you've done that um, go home and there you go location spoofer is installed really good thing about this is that you know you don't have to SSH <coughs> into your iPhone you don't have to do all that copying a dev to it to install it you can use Safari Download Manager or anything and then do it all directly on your iPhone without using a computer. And this lets you roll back to older versions of apps you've installed through Cydia, which make your phone, you know, unstable or the apps are really buggy and you want to go back to a version, just find the dev, download it, and install it. Voila, done. So that's a quick tutorial on how to install devs and I'll um, keep coming back for more. I should be updating more often now as I have more time. See you guys later.